Hello everybody, how are you doing? Today, I'll be talking about getting input from a user in Scratch. So first, I want you to pause this video and see if you can find the blocks that we should use. So here's a hint. It's in sensing. If you chose what the ask block, you are correct. Let's take it out and let's ask our own question like, what is your favorite number? And wait, then let's use the join block, which is in operators. And we have this answer block, which is like or variable. It has it has our information. So I can say me too. So basically, what we're saying is that the cat is the same the same favorite number as you. Let's um, make it do something else too, like change size by answer and then let's and uh, let's start the code by clicking the green flag I'll say five and then it grew by five so its size would be a hundred and five so we're comparing our fair numbers with the cat and us. Now let's compare the numbers with the computer. Let's make another variable which is computer number. And let's say set computer number. We can go to operators and pick out a uh, pick random one to ten. This is often very useful for games where we are making like rock, paper, scissors and choose a number game. I'll choose, I'll say 1 to 100. So basically what this is doing is we made a, a, our own variable for the computer and we're saying that pick a, a number from 1 to 100 and we're going to say that's the computer's favorite number. So after the change size block, let's say uh, a if then statement. We'll say if, then we can take out our variable. So if computer number equal to answer, then let's make it say something else. Like, yay. Okay. And I actually have no clue what that means. Well, usually we will hide the variable, but let's see if it works. So we're going to show the variable. It chose 86. I'm going to go with that. So it works in this scenario. Let's see if we choose the same number, 29. So it works, but maybe you can even add a sound like play sound clapping. So in this we learned about the pick random block, a little bit about games that use the ask block, and how to get input from the user. To get input from the user, we can use the ask block. And to join text, we can use the join block. Where we get where the answer is is in the answer block. It is like a variable and we have made our own a uh, variable for the computer and we're telling it to pick a random number from 1 to 100 we are saying that it is that is its favorite number and if the computer number is equal to the answer then we're saying yay three-way day because we all have this fit all three of us have the uh, same favorite number and then we're just making a clapping sound for fun let's try it out one more time But 
not all three of us had the same number, so I didn't make the clapping sound. Well, till next time. Bye!